So, child, A.L. is over there blaming Melody for Kiki's demise. He keep bringing up the $100 that he gave her. I'm like, child, that is so petty. Did you give the money from out from the bottom of your heart? Or it's, it seemed like you gave it just so you could keep bringing it up, child. It's just he still up to the same old, same old. Make sure you like this video as you are coming in. I appreciate it. Um, Like I said before, he agrees with everything that Funky Doniva said about Kiki. It was a harsh truth that needed to be told. Doniva was just being Doniva. Kiki did have a lot of struggles, a lot of issues. I thought she was your friend. Okay, I thought she was your friend, but, you know, you the one put her out there on blast, honey. Um, he admitted that Miss Wanda didn't write the paragraph. It was Marceau. He's glad that it made people laugh. He got to talking about how the cast alienated Kiki while they were in Texas. Anthony blames Kiki's mom for going to the bloggers. Um, he also says that he is the one that told Kiki what her mom was doing behind her back. Kiki found out and was devastated when she found out. Um, he also gets to talking about why Mel brought Kiki on the show. Um, and he says that Kiki didn't know that Melody brought her on there to drag Tisha. She thought Tisha and Mel were in a better place. Okay. So, yeah, he was over there playing audio, honey. Uh, he said when she came on the show, though, everything just turned. And I'm just like, Tisha and Mel had been having issues. Like I said before, and I will keep reiterating, Tisha never saw it for Mel. She's very jealous of Mel. She resents Melody for, you know, being confident, strong, no nonsense. The same stuff with Kiki, you guys. It's the same type of stuff. Um, he plays clips of Mel saying why she brought uh, Kiki to the show. And like I said before, I felt like Melody was within her right. Tisha threw coleslaw in Melody's face several times. She weaponized Melody's vulnerability. She kept reminding her that her husband was cheating on her or had cheated. She even brought it up during their 10th year anniversary. Like, what type of so-called friend does that, right? Okay. Like I said before, I feel like Tisha is the type of person that likes to bring a G-U-N to a K-N-I-F-E fight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> write it down if you can't figure it out. <laughs> but Tisha will never admit to her wrongdoings. She will play the victim. And that's why I can't take her seriously. So he plays a video of Mel talking about how Kiki didn't properly use the platform to show what overcoming addiction looks like. I remember when Mel was on Carlos King's podcast. Okay, he then puts up a post. Did production give Kiki the opportunity to even share her story? Because it looked like Melody was just using Kiki to get back at Tisha and, you know, bringing up all these stories about Marceau cheating. A.L. said Kiki was supposed to come on the show to tell her story. A.L. then addresses Kiki's uncle about who brought up Kiki's addiction in the first place on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And, you know, he alludes to how it was male. It wasn't Tisha, it wasn't Marceau, it wasn't Kimmy, it wasn't Maurice, Martel, Destiny, Stormy. It was male. Of course, everything is male's fault. Then we have A.L. playing audio, talking about a friend wouldn't do that to you. You know, he, he's having a conversation 
with Kiki and, you know, trying to imply that Melody was using her. We kind of hear Kiki saying, yeah, I kind of questioned it too. And, um, AL says that Mel, you know, kept mentioning Kiki's addiction. Um, he also mentioned how the show made a mockery of her sobriety. No, that was your, your good friends, Marceau, Wanda, and Tisha that did that. They did that, and especially Marceau. And even Cousin Courtney that was at Kimmy's family barbecue said that all of that type of behavior was very disrespectful. It was very hurtful. Um... Constantly asking for Kiki to take a DRUG test, like all of those type of accusations are damaging. So it's like y'all want Kiki to do right by y'all, but y'all stayed coming for her. You weaponized her vulnerabilities and used them, used them as weapons to try to destroy her, to destroy her image, her character. Okay, y'all wanted her to be reduced and put in lowest terms because of, you know, her addiction issues. The Scots really wanted to drive home that Kiki was unstable. She was unhinged. You know, she was just team too much. AL kept mentioning how the cast alienated Kiki. Um, they had to look out, you know, I guess her family had to look out for her mental stability. Um, he played audio of how Kiki said that everybody knew that she was coming to Houston and she didn't even understand why later on they acted as if it was a big deal that she was in Houston. Everybody knew that she was coming. Kiki said she didn't want to go to Houston. She had just moved and, you know, it was so much going on with her husband and her kids. Um, AL also compared the, the drink throwing that um melody did to martell and um he played the audio of melody saying kiki was wrong for throwing the drink on tisha and you know he was trying to allude to the fact that melody is this hypocrite and she kept telling kiki not to do things on the show but she would behave in the same reckless manner first off martell had just told melody that um coleslaw okay was satisfying him this is somebody that interrupted her marriage disrespected her put mark tail on the phone um this is like for you to compare the two of those things like ridiculous Okay, Melody married Martell. She loved him. She had children with him. They had businesses together. Their lives were very much so interconnected, and he betrayed her with somebody less than her. Okay, like somebody that's not even on her level. Um... So, Melody had the right to be angry and throw the drink. And Kiki threw her drink because Tisha kept ignoring her. She refused to acknowledge her at the barbecue. She could have at least told Kiki, I don't want to talk about this right here and right now. We could talk about it off camera. Um, she didn't do that. She kept trying to dismiss Kiki. She wanted to alienate her, isolate, isolate her not give her anything she wanted her to she wanted to run kiki up off this show she didn't want kiki to have the same opportunities that she has because tisha wanted a dynamic with kiki where i'm up here and you're down here okay that's what she wanted and we know that that's true because that's what happened that's what played out 
Um, he also, um, seemed like he played a clip of Kiki and her, you know, arriving, you know, in Texas. Remember, she apologized to Kimmy and Maurice, who don't have loyalty to anybody, but they brother and they sister, Tisha and Marceau. Because, um, I was disgusted with Kimmy when she got to saying, oh, well, um, it's been a whole month. A whole month has went by. This is after Kiki apologized. Hey, you know, I know we were coming together, coming together to celebrate, you know, you overcoming breast cancer and it was your moment. I ruined it. I apologize. I just couldn't face you. I didn't know what to say. Seems very honest and sincere to me. But no, um, Kimmy don't want nothing to do with Kiki. Okay. She felt threatened by her individuality, same as Tisha. They want people to just go along to get along and have this blind loyalty to Tisha and Marceau. It's just not going to happen. People are always going to treat you the way that you have treated them. When you dismiss and deny who a person is, their feelings, when you, you know, make them question and doubt themselves, you gaslight them, um, you act like you too good, you know, like to work things out with them. They're not going to want anything to do with you, but... Yeah, I was I was annoyed with um Kimmy. And Kimmy had all these standards for Kiki, but she didn't have those standards for her own husband. Okay, remember the whole just bend over and take it, suffer through it. You know, so she was just very stoic and hard with Kiki and inflexible, but Demure, laid back and patient with with uh Martel, Maurice, and Marceau, and you know, there's a catering to the men on the show, but not Kiki. I just don't like that behavior. Um it's double standards on this show. Like I said, it's okay for Tisha to get over there with Destiny and talk about Mel like a dog. But as soon as Melody invite Kiki to her Christmas party, it's the end of the world. Make it make sense. Um, it's just crazy. Oh, AL also mentioned, um, well, all Martell said was that, uh, you know, Melody wasn't sucking on his peen the right way and she wasn't satisfying him. She wasn't doing what she needed to do. And that's why he had to go and get Ariane and child, like, you don't say that to your wife, to your soon-to-be ex-wife, and you are the one that blew up the relationship. Because you are an agent of chaos, you have no remorse, you don't care about who you hurt, but you expect for somebody to love you, you know, and it's just like you took vows and you put your own needs before your marriage. You put a side chick above your marriage. You, you took your narcissism and you put it above your marriage. You made decisions that trumped the love that you were supposed to have for your wife. And then you want to go around, oh, she cheated, but she, she should have been passing that pussy around like a collection plate. Okay. She, she really could have been doing that. Okay. And it's just like, ugh. He's so diabolical, and the fact that AL is, like, all on Martel's side, and and that's what I'm saying, like, you're conveniently on these people's side just because you hate Melody. It's crazy. He also talked about how the cast felt like Kiki was a liability when she threw the drink on Tisha. That's why, and that's when... They all felt like she should be off the show. 
A.L. then asks, can you blame Kimmy, Maurice, Tisha, and Marceau for not wanting to film with Kiki? It's just like, child, like I said before, she shouldn't have ignored, um, Tisha shouldn't have ignored Kiki like that. See, all of that being passive aggressive, all of that being dismissive, all of that, like, I don't want to hear what you got to say. I'm not talking to you. Oh, I'm going to try to block you from having camera time. And she was trying to sabotage Kiki and her husband told her to do that. Yeah, just don't talk to her. Yeah, just act like she not there. She in the scene, just treat her like she ain't there. And then eventually, you know, the whole cast won't film with her. And, you know, that's what y'all did. And, you know, just because you are silent towards a person don't mean you're, you're not being disrespectful, you know? A.L. says he would have threw hands at Kiki for throwing the drink on him. It couldn't have been him. Okay? And it's just crazy because all throughout the video, he's saying what male did and, you know, what certain people did to Kiki. And I'm like, what about you um, producing audio of the behind the scenes of, you know, you talking to Kiki and now you knew that that could affect her job you're not that stupid you know you was releasing this stuff on your channel this is what happened in Texas this before it was before it was even aired on the show like you had to make it about you okay you had and they still have not said they still have not said your name Okay, they still have not given you credit. You done did all that work to be, what, a part of the cast? Okay, putting your picture in with the cast. So he'll have, what, a thumbnail of the cast and add himself to the picture. Crazy. He, you know, he wanted to attach himself to the show. He got Ariane in the front. He has such a disdain for Melody. He got Ariane in the front, child. <laughs> okay, and this is Melody's show. Crazy, but obsessive. Oof, child. But you the one that, you know... You're the one that did this to Kiki with her job, in my opinion. You are the one that sabotaged her job. You took advantage of her. You didn't have the right intentions. You out here playing recordings of conversations y'all had. And, you know, it's just team too much. Let's see what the people got to say about him. So one person says, you expose Kiki... And she still would be on the show had you not exposed her. Another person says, tell the part that you played in all of this. Another person says, your hate for Kiki runs deep. Another person says, all I know is that Kiki was a mother and a wife. And they will have to learn how to walk this road without her. My heart goes out to Kiki's family who will always hold her memory dear and deep in their hearts. Another person says, how are you going to tell your viewers what not to say when they disagree with you? You talked under Melody's clothes about what she should have done to or learned to do to her husband. Who raised you? No, better yet, what raised you? Not what? (laughs) Oh, Another person says, why is it y'all duty to attempt to convince if the mellow meters choose to support, then why does it irk y'all that people choose to support Melody? You support Stormy and she isn't perfect to each his own. I am new and I'm sick of you calling Melody buddy. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. Being called out, honey. He don't like it. 
another person calls him out and says, you are using clips from an edited show to try to discredit Melody. You use Kiki and her mother to get info about this woman because Melody didn't want anything to do with you. You don't know those people or their personal relationships. You really have a problem and it's disgusting. Another person says, you point the finger and look at the fingers pointing back to you. You played your part too. All of you did, especially you. You shouldn't even be speaking on Kiki's name as if you didn't do anything to her. Marceau told the Holtz to hide their medicine before inviting Kiki to their home and that Kiki had an addiction. So now our Why are you trying to change the narrative and accuse Melody as the one that brought it to the show? Wow, your hate runs deep. Yeah, like I said, he's trying to change the narrative. He's trying to go with this narrative that Melody used Kiki to try to destroy Tisha's marriage. That's it. That's it. Another person says at the pajama party, Stormy was the one who brought up the cheating scandal about Marceau. They talked about it on the show. With the bug situation, it started with Stormy, Stormy's makeup artist, yet Melody is being blamed. Here go another person. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Mark tail was right about how his ex treats her friends from what has been shown on the show not sure if that is her true character but the television or kingdom rain or editors make her out to be a fair weather friend very self-serving sad what happened to kiki that show is toxic Letitia and Marceau told Melody about how Kiki stole some medications from someone. They told Kimmy also, tell the effing truth. You are so mad because Dawn and Melody did not help you. Oh, he also played a clip of Kiki telling Melody how she felt slighted by Melody in Houston. He then plays the clip of Tisha saying, I think when Mel needs you and you're there for her, you know, she'll be your friend. And then once she gets it together, now she doesn't need you. And see, they're all trying to have this narrative. of, And it's everything that Martell said. You know, when you're not willing to do her, when you're not willing to be her do girl anymore, you know, she disposes of you. She discards you. So he had played audio of Kiki saying um, she felt picked on, you know, as it pertains to the Houston trip and the counseling session. I remember that counselor had a certain energy for her. I told y'all it was Stormy that took up for her because they was telling her to leave and go home. And Stormy was like, she ain't got to go nowhere. She could stay with me and Courtney because Stormy didn't even want to stay at the house. But yeah, I guess she felt betrayed by Melody. Melody and Tisha, they had their moment. I don't think that Kiki liked that. She said before that that didn't bother her, but I don't believe that. I think that that kind of bothered her that Melody and Tisha kind of hugged it out. Um, not so much that Kiki wanted Melody and Tisha to be at odds, but I think she was like confused. Like what's, you know, like what is going on? So yeah, I think, um, You know, she felt a way on the Houston trip. She probably felt like, dang, don't nobody want me here. But everybody knew I was coming. Now that I'm here, everybody kind of playing dumb. Like, they didn't know I was coming or they didn't tell Neil, you know, they didn't tell me to ask Neil if I was coming. If I can go, I should say. I also saw a video where Kiki was saying that, you know, her, sometimes her and Mel would have disagreements like that, you know, and she didn't agree with 
the things that Melody did all the time and Melody wouldn't agree with her. But she said she understood that sometimes friends go through, you know, those type of things. Um, somebody says that it should have never been discussed with AL, a content creator. Melody's relationship as your good friend that you had no complaint about is equal to talking to a content creator, Kiki, that recorded you, your mama, and grandma too. Not the grandmother, child. No real friend would talk to a stranger about Melody. You, Tisha, and Stormy, all of y'all's moms need to get classes from Miss Van who tells Melody the truth when she's wrong and when she's right. It's called integrity, Kiki. Don't turn into your aunt in a slick way, at least. We know what to expect from your aunt, in my opinion, and allegedly. So AL also got to talking about that scene in, you know, when they were in Texas and... The counselor was saying, yeah, your energy is off. And Stormy was actually on Kiki's side. Like, no, her energy has been really good today. We know that Kiki has made mistakes. We know she's not perfect. None of us is. We have all decided we want to move forward. And I just kind of feel like, I'm paraphrasing, um, Kiki keeps being crucified for being here. And, you know, so Stormy did, I did, you know, see that uh, clip and Stormy did defend, you know, Kiki. I don't think we saw everything because it, it's like a bonus clip of that um, counselor talking to um, Kiki and... I don't know. She kept saying that Kiki had this bad energy, you know, and it's her that's the problem. And yeah. Yeah. When I go back and watch that scene, you got Marceau saying that him and Tisha didn't want nothing to do with Kiki. They were done. Okay. They were done. So it's like we... You know, we seeing all this stuff online and they want to celebrate her memory all of a sudden, but you all were done. You know, yes, families fight, you know, but like I said before, all of these people tried to reduce this young lady to just strictly have an addiction issue. She can't never get it together. She's so unhinged. She came on the show betraying her cousin. And like Kiki said in her confessional, they don't know all the stuff I've dealt with, you know, with Tisha throughout the years, how she has lied on me, kept information from me. She was never happy to have me on the show. You know, so yeah, they they wanted everybody to believe this blind narrative. And they wanted to use them being family to tarnish uh, Kiki's image and her personality. And she's a backstabber. She's a, be, you know, betrayer. Look how she did her cousin. Meanwhile, her and the cousin ain't even close. And the cousin has did some backstabbing things to her, you know. So it's like, child... You know, so just a big old mess. A sad AL is still like now, you know, he just keep going in circles, child, doing the same stuff over and over again with Melody and these narratives. And she disposed of Kiki. Martell is right. I see why he cheated. She's no good. You know? Look at how she treated Kiki in Texas and child. And he's the one that had to give Kiki a hundred dollars and and her friends, they weren't even at the funeral and her her so called real friends, they weren't there and And he agrees with what Funky Doniva said about Kiki and it was a harsh truth and you know. People, and even Miss Wanda doubled down on it. Yeah, 
people don't want to hear what Funky Doniva got to say because it's in favor of her daughter. That's why they are, you know, hanging on to his narrative. It's in favor of her daughter. You know? So, child, a whole mess. And all Kiki was saying in Texas was, hey, I apologize to everybody. And they still was not over it. They still didn't want her around, you know. That's what she was telling the counselor. That's all I could do. Acknowledge, apologize. And, you know, for whatever reason, it's still not good enough. I'm going to tell you why it was was not going to be good enough. Because they were done. Kimmy, Maurice... Tisha Marceau, they were done. And with Kimmy, oh, you waited a month. And sometimes it takes times to get your thoughts together, lady. Like, she said, I didn't know how to face you. Yeah, but it's been a month and you still didn't say nothing. And girl, the world does not revolve and like set, <laughs> okay, on your ass. It does not, like, revolve around you and you get things when you want to get things. And no, you know, but they had closed that door. The door was closed, okay? So, yeah, just, it's just a mess. And, ugh, mm -mm. the ghetto, (laughs) okay? But anyways, you guys, that's all I have to say about all of that. And I will check you guys out in my next video.